and 3D printing supports are essential when you have complicated models that have overhangs, bridges, or intricate structures. If you're using Bamboo Lab Studio, you have a wide range of advanced features that help you set up and manage your supports. And today, we're talking all about those supports. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Builder. Today we're talking all about supports in Bamboo Lab Studio. But first let's start with what are supports for people who are new to 3D printing. In 3D printing, models that have no space underneath them or in certain areas need supports in order for those prints not to collapse during the printing process. The structures hold up the overhanging part until the print is complete, ensuring that even the most complex shapes can be printed accurately. Without supports, features like arms of figurine, arches, or complicated shapes or detailed elements would fail. So what are the types of supports in Bamboo Lab Studio? Bamboo Lab Studio offers a few types of supports that you could use. The first one, and one of my favorites, are tree supports. These grow from the base of the print and expand to reach the overhangs of your 3D model. They're great for minimizing contact with the model itself, resulting in less post-processing. Now there's also normal, or what we call grid supports. These are traditional lattice structures. While denser and easier to generate, grid supports may be difficult to remove and may leave marks on the surface of your 3D print. Now you also have custom supports. Custom supports can be manually placed where you want them to be placed. This allows for greater control over where you believe the support should be placed and even may reduce the waste generated by the 3D printed supports. Now, how do you optimize your support setting in Bamboo Lab Studio? There's a few things you need to think about. To get the best results, adjusting the supports is critical. And here's a breakdown of the most important settings. Support density. This controls how tightly packed the support structure is. Lower density means less material use and easier removal, but may not provide enough support for very delicate parts. Higher density is more useful for heavy overhangs or heavy parts, but is actually harder to remove in post-processing. Support overhead angle. This is the angle at which the Bamboo Lab software decides where to add supports. By default, supports are generated with anything over a 30 degree angle. Now you can adjust this if you find you have too much waste and you don't need as much support material on your print. Support Z distance. This controls the distance between the support and the model. Smaller gaps provide more stability, but are harder to remove. Bigger gaps provide less stability, but are easier to remove from the 3D print. Support pattern. Bamboo Lab Studio lets you choose patterns for your support. Grid support offers more stability. Support interface. This is the denser layer between your support and the model. Adjusting the setting makes a cleaner surface and less scarring on your 3D print. If you're printing in Bamboo Labs with an AMS, you could designate your supports to be in a different material. There are filaments that are just designed to be used as support material. Some people even use water-soluble materials for the supports, such as PVA. This makes a removal process much simpler and cleaner, especially for intricate design. How do you reduce the support material? Material. Minimizing support material will save you not just the material itself, but also time on your 3D print. Here's a few tips that should help. One of my favorite is using tree supports instead of normal supports, as they use a lot less material and usually take less time to print. Another thing you should look at is your model orientation. When you're orienting your model, place the flattest area of your model on the build plate. Whether you're printing intricate models or functional parts, Using the correct supports will help you have less failures, waste less material, and have your prints complete quicker with less failures. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.